Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. I am Rick Godley. Next to, I just called him my friend, Keldrick Dunn. No stranger to our audience, a recent graduate of Louisiana Tech. And I think you and I talked last time, Keldrick, in front of the Aspire Tower because you yeah. had um, some yeah. work going on in Ruston. Yeah, I was doing the uh, the holiday arts market okay. back then. And yeah, we met in front of Aspire. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> it was an early morning. <laughs> it was... <laughs> It was an early morning there, and you came running over, but you nailed it. And if I remember right, that was a very successful holiday market. Uh, Art Daddy Kells is this guy right here. That's the Instagram to find out more. Um, talk about yourself. Just introduce yourself to the audience. I've known you now probably two, maybe three years, and uh, I've seen you grow. And we're going to be talking about an exhibit that's going to be on the campus of ULM. Tell me about Art Daddy. So Kells. Art Daddy Kells is a, a multimedia artist and I paint, I make music and I make videos to go with my music. So I touch on a lot of different things. I try to keep it personal with whatever I'm working on. And uh, it's always a story behind it, but you know, that's open for interpretation. Well, that's why we have exhibits and it's called World Keep Turning. And right. it's at the Bry Art Gallery on the campus of ULM. It goes up on the 18th of January. It's going to stay up till the 15th of January. February. Wor oh. February. Well, no, he, world keeps turning because Art Daddy Kells here, he can make time go backwards. <laughs> so it's going to open on the 18th and close. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, just, it's going to run for a year <laughs> till January 24th. <laughs> No, it's going to be February 15th. All right, so world keeps turning. Tell, I mean, we pretty much summed up the theme of what it is. How did that tell us about? Yeah, so it's, it's, it's some paintings that I just pulled from the past to kind of help me get a better version, a better vision of what I'm doing today. So you look backwards just to kind of get an idea of where you're going or where you're heading to. So I always been attracted to media from the time before me, times from when I was a child, because mm -hmm. comfort is what I grew up with. Uh, so that's kind of what these paintings touch on, just using those things to make sense of what was going on at the time that I was working on those pieces. So world keeps turning. So you're going back for comfort. And as we talked a little bit before we went on, uh, Keldrick Dunn, is that you maybe thought, I better capture all my artwork now because the world's not going to last much longer, right? <laughs> <laughs> but the world keeps turning. Yeah, you know, you go through something and at the time it feels like the end of the world. You're like, how do I move on past this? And then they say, you know, it's been a week later. It's been two months later. It's been five years later. The world will keep turning. The world going to keep so. turning. The uh, unique style that I, I love your character tours or caricatures i don't know how you'd explain them what's the inspiration man there's a little bit of maybe peanuts influence but then there's a definite unique uh art daddy kells flair to your characters yeah so when i start i started this body of work around 2016 like the first pieces of it started forming when i was in college and i went to a predominantly white school and i'm like i'm the only black kid here out of hundreds of other white kids so i started feeling like a token black kid kind of thing <laughs> so uh, i started looking at shows that i grew up with and i noticed some of those would only have like one black kid like franklin from peanuts <laughs> he had the least lines in tv history <laughs> and like I he was just kind of there That's and right. i remember the story uh, it was during the Civil War, uh, not, oh, the Civil Rights Movement. <laughs> civil Rights. Civil War, Civil Rights. I mean, Same thing, pretty close, pretty close. <laughs> uh, a fan had wrote in to, to Schultz and was like, hey, is the Civil Rights is going on. Can we get a black character? And he in eventually made uh, Franklin. Mm -hmm. But again, he had the least lines out of anybody. Mm -hmm. So, And that's kind of how I felt when I was in college. So I started making work that used him to speak to what I was feeling at the time. So yeah. that's the inspiration about the exhibit that's up at the Bry Art Gallery. Plus, okay. do you have 
postcards of these or prints of these as well? Because I, I mean, you've set up and sold at the farmer's market, is, you know what I mean? Yeah. How, can, to, can people buy your stuff, I guess, is what I'm asking. Or do you want to sell I have it? the paintings for sale, and uh, <laughs> I am going to go through and make prints, but I think I'll do the, I'll either wait till near the end of the show or right after the show gotcha. to do print, to sell the prints. But All I right. definitely do want to, I love the work that's in there. Like I touched up some of them and I'm like, this is 10 times better. So, no, wait a second. What's ten symbol. times better? The, the, what what's exhibited now and is what is is what is exhibited now? What you did in the past, right? Did I yeah. hear you right? Yeah, it's what I did in the past. Okay. But some of them I just kind of like retooled some oh, of the you things, did. Oh, oh. changed some of the color schemes, okay. like enhanced the palettes, and instead of having the line go like this, I made it go like that, and it gotcha. made all the difference. So it was cool to go back to my own past with the knowledge that I have now and be able to make those work better. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. So no, what else? to get too cocky, but <laughs> you're the artist. You can get that. I mean, it's, it's your show, man. That's you're right. It's your a show. A year out of college. It's and your I got statement. My first, I got a solo show a year out of college. It's crazy. Think about it, huh? Yeah. I mean, I'm having a flashback from an interview with you Claiborne Parish, right? Ooh, when Homer, you came to our senior right? show. What? When you came to our senior show. What? Uh, you came to our senior oh, show. Oh, that's when I Ted. talked to you as well. That was yeah, our first interview. That was our first one. Right. And, and now look how comfortable I got. Yeah, I know. Camera. I mean, we're we're in the Lincoln Parish Museum. He's got his yeah. own art show. Yeah. But you you were talking about growing up and being, for the lack of a better, a doodler a drawer and a sketcher yeah. and you had a teacher that encouraged you am i remembering oh, yeah. this right yeah miss porter miss Rhonda porter i love you <laughs> thank you because <laughs> look at where i'm i'm here with rick me in lincoln parish museum i got a show is, I, is she, she still around we need to get her that'll that'll be the, our she, next show I, facts All i right. think she is still a homer i have to see i gotta do some research okay We'll I'll, do some, I'll put on my, my private investigator <laughs> World Keeps Turning, Artworks by Keldrick Dunn, Bry Art Gallery, the campus of ULM. It is up uh, 18th of January, go into the 15th of February, that's when it comes down. You got a reception at the end, is yeah. that one? Yeah, we're having a closer reception February 15th, it's on a Wednesday at 2 o'clock. I'm giving a presentation, I'm going to be up there talking for... A good 30, 45 minutes so I can ramble more in depth about all the ideas that were going on. I can geek out about my color schemes and line quality. <laughs> well, I'll check my schedule. We may, we just may have to live stream that. Hey, perhaps. Yeah, that, I, that, didn't, I didn't say, that's, but we can. Yeah, Let's hypothetically. Just, I'll have my know. people talk to your people. Yeah, we'll be in touch. Okay, I'll send my agent to you. <laughs> I get you a touch with my manager. <laughs> you do that, please. And uh, I, I'll do the same as well. Mm -hmm. World keeps turning. Keldrick Dunn, man. Thank you so much, my friend, for even thinking of me to say, you know what? I want Mr. Rick. Uh, you didn't say Mr. Rick. You said, <laughs> well, I want Rick Godley to do the interval. I really mean that. Thank you for thinking of me. Hey, thank you for for having me. I'm glad we made it work. I was, I was scared that it was like two last minute to hit you up. But I was like, the worst you could say is no. So. Well, right, or I can't. So, yeah. uh, no, I'm glad it did, and, and things fall into to pit, into place and makes yeah. it happen. Yeah. All right, y'all. You know what to do. Oh, how can uh, people reach just, out and connect with you? Say it. I was just going to say it. Lay it. Art Daddy Kills on Instagram. I guess I make music, too. Uh, ArtDaddyKills.Bandcamp.com for the albums on there. I got two of them right now. I'm working on two more, and yeah. This is all I really do right now. Now, wait a second. You got two albums? Are we talking like the discs of the vinyl? Oh, no. Nah, just oh, a, it's a concept. Just a, yeah, the digital albums. Just You play all the instruments? I sample. Oh, so you I'm do scared you? to Yeah, I'm scared to put it on streaming or anything. Can you sample something that'll be the, the Rick Godwin when people hear it? It's just like, poof. Yeah. <laughs> I actually did. For the last interview, when we, was, when we were giving my Instagram handle and stuff, I was like, I'm going to take where both of us are saying Art Daddy Kills. This is going to be my producer tag. I haven't used it, but I, I, I got the clip saved. All right. All right. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you all. Till next time. Thank you all. Art Daddy Kills on Instagram and Bandcamp. And 
keltrodun7 at gmail.com. Email me. Send me some stuff. Holla at your boy. Holla at your boy. <laughs> I love it.